Okay, this is what the meter looks like after I took it apart. There's two little screws uh, that you just unscrew from the uh, rear. Uh, and this is where that problem is. This wire um, breaks off, uh, usually off of this part right here. And it's really easy to solder back on, but um, right there. But uh, uh, the other improvement I made on it is I... Um, <clears throat> um, I added a little drop of uh, solder right here because uh, some of the batteries is too flat and I needed a, a little bump on it and so that made it work much better but I use this so much that this wire as it's moving back and forth uh, it basically just breaks off always over here so the other kind uh, this is a digital one as you'll see later on but the other kind, uh, <clears throat> which is analog, uh, that one uh, has the same problem. So you can fix both digital and this one, uh, the, the analog and the digital one, the same way. Usually this is the wire that breaks off, because that's the one that is attached to this traveler. Okay? Okay, light assembly, and uh, as you can see, it even measures 18650 batteries, this particular model, because it goes from uh, 1.2 volts all the way to 4.8 volts, uh, and these things usually don't go beyond 4.2 volts, uh, but uh, it's a good meter, it's, as much as I paid for it when it came out, it was like $20, but, uh, uh, you know, got it on Amazon, so uh, you can probably get it a little less expensive, but I... Um, I, I needed it right away so anyway but uh, you can fix it no big deal